So, happy Thursday. Now we got uh, Hobo, Hurricane, and Jeff with me. We're in level... I guess we're still on technically level one of the dungeon for the moat house, I think. Or is it two? I don't know. But currently... About two-thirds of the way to level four. Probably don't have too much longer to go, because this dungeon... It's only supposed to take us level four or so. Or Claire. Oh, trap! Oi! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Where do they come from? Well, it was a trap. I don't think we had a choice. Mr. Picking a Hurricane, not me. So orcs figure about what, 20 hit points or so? Maybe? No! That's what I say. Good roll. Two. Only slightly worse than one. Raging for? Nah, probably. Probably. It's hard to say. Arcana Evo Viribe. So they're sitting about fifteen hit points, roughly, maybe a little more. crap out of Jeff before he can uh, do some rage on him. Good dodge. This just yeah. makes me so angry. Well, you're already green. Now you just have to get a little bit more bigger and angrier. More coming your way. It's on 11. Yeah, so... Not even, not even 20. So, yeah, 15. That's what it looks like. Anymore. Yeah, I probably ran out of spells. We haven't rested in a while. You'll die anyway.
Can you grease the four, uh, three behind us? I'm just gonna put the, the fire, the, this is gonna make them move because if they don't move, they burn. So this is better than oh. grease, so. Oh, but grease is not concentration, right? The, the, the grease is no concentration, correct. But the problem is it's a, it's a two by two. So if I drop it, I could drop it on the three back there. That Actually, that's not a bad idea. Oh, it's burning. <laughs> Unfortunately, they don't burn. No, I mean, they can move if they uh, fall down and then they have to burn because the flame is in the, it close. Right. Uh oh, Jeff is hurting a little bit. So that area just in front of me, that's creased? Um, right behind yeah. you. So, so I can't take a step and hit the prone guy though. Okay. No, just work on the two that are right. I would say, yeah, work on the two that are behind and in front of you. Don't lose Rocky did that. Yeah, that works too. Sarcasm. Heavy sarcasm. Einar, Evo, Curai. I owe you one. So orcs and zombies like pushing people around. Apparently. I had enough of prone dwarf for one day. <laughs> <laughs> no quarter given. Uh. Natura Devo Malmis. I do have a mark from there's mark left. It just came up. Uh -huh. I don't know why. Uh -huh. Run while you can. And he does. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, fire thingy. Almost dead. That one's almost dead. So we'll work on this guy. Arcana Honjo Malmi. Another victory. So close, on the Sorry. Stuck out the way. Yeah, smart orc. Walk right into the grease. Smacked one on the ground. Should be the advantage. Take Just that. like that.
And he made a save. Kill. I don't know, the portrait says he's pro. It's not a pro. Actually, smoother than expected. Short rest. Sure. Okay, we're gonna do quick rest, short rest, sorry. Yep. Mm. Shoot. So Jeff has one rage left. Cell back there, Tobo. No, just hiding. You're just hiding now, oh, okay. No, orc lair. There wasn't a camping spot on this. Area was there. Mm, not that I remember. I hear goblins. Last <laughs> time you said that, they were orcs. I, I still hear them. Hello, everyone. My name is Veronica, and welcome to Gimpy's Twitch channel. Up, I'm if you are enjoying what you are watching, about the floor please click the follow toilets. button in the lower right corner of the video screen. That way you will be notified by Twitch when Gimpy goes live. You can also follow Gimpy over on Twitter at Gimpy Knee. He tweets out there when he goes live and will more than likely follow you back. Thank you for watching. Yep, thanks for watching. Happy Thursday, so a recruitment letter we found. To you and your strong orcish brothers, the master is paying in gold to all who will join him at the old moat house. Master sees all of that. So what's behind this door? Probably nothing. Oh, the master sees all. How we on heels? Let me know. What uh, level about. two is gone. Level one is one over. Okay, opening. Yeah, Ooh, a yeah. button. Uh oh. Yeah, more like the buttons to open the door from the other side. And a couple of scones too. Scones. Or just one. Button, Jeff. Journal of Lareth. This is anything good. A journal uh, lies open on this table. There's a couple paragraphs. It details the efforts of one named Lareth and his efforts at rebuilding the moat house. April 10th, I have finally established a foothold. A foothold? A cheaply hired 
The cheaply hired brigands have been adequate, but not nearly enough to help clear out the upper levels. We still have the old guard tower and the west wing of the moat house to, get to clear. April 15th. I got lucky today. We ran into a pack of hungry wandering goblins, and with a little smooth talking, I was able to sway them into my growing army with some food and a handful of silver. Now uh, there are 20 total, which almost doubles our number. April 7th. Oh, sorry, it's Avril. Why it's Avril? Uh, Avril 20. Again, the master blesses us with blesses us with his gifts. We ran into an ogre named Lubash. 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 Uh, he was uh, overly thick-headed, but gold and a few well-placed uh, arrows changed his mind. He was not. He's now working with us too, and has a pair of brothers that may be interested. May 15. Defenses are almost complete. The zombies I animated from the corpses from our last raid on a merchant caravan have worked out well. Soon we'll have the numbers to march on Grimhaven and sack the town in the name of the Master, Lareth. So, so apparently the guy who killed is actually a necromancer. You coming, Gimby? I'm coming. I was reading. Oh. Reading is important. You heard me, right? Yeah, we heard you talking. Okay. Oh, okay, there's another scone on the wall. Looks like a dead end. Friends? There's a door here. All right, opening it up. Another hidden door. Okay, so another door or hallway. Stores to the moat house level. Mm. This, yeah, the secret door is going to connect us to where we've already been. Light? Oh, that's right. Toba, or Jeff doesn't have light on him. Mm. I hear something. I hear nothing. Oh, there's an ore here. Luba. Okay, yeah, there's some. The one that was mentioned in the journal. What did the journal say about him? Uh, that they hired him with a gold piece and an arrow to the head or something like that. Like, disadvantage to undead? Not all undead. We he found that out. That. He was gonna fire on him? Mm -hmm. hope out. Yes, vampires for certain, but zombies, no. You find out zombies, light doesn't really care, or they don't care about light, and I think skeletons are in the same boat. But vampires, for sure, do not like the light. At least he's surprised. And he's alone. Yet, uh, still, uh... Oh, I think we killed his two brothers already. When we first came in here, I think. And we the killed. Two ogres. Yeah, the two ogres we already killed, so I think those are his brothers. So you assume all ogres are related? In this case, yes. Because if you've been listening to what I was reading. I was half listening. Shades, yeah, I think, sh yeah, shades are affected by light as well. It puts them at a disadvantage. Again, it's not all undead, but it's, it's some of them. Don't get us all killed. It's uh, some of the stronger ones. But the weak ones don't seem to be affected by it. Oh. 
Poor Luke Bash. He was just standing here minding his own business. Apparently. We could turn around and leave if you want. He might chase you. Not your uh, Devo Malmus. I think we can outrun an ogre that has trouble with his pants falling off. <laughs> Probably a safe bet. Two doors that are too small for him. Well, maybe not necessarily too large, actually. I think his pants are just a little too large. I'll Good roll. Get you yet. Good roll. Just trying to light a torch. in the club. It's a leftover arrow probably from Lobo. Ah, got a cloak. An elven cloak. Arcana Evo Oculus. Cloak of Elven Kind. Who wants it? Me. It does. Vanish the stealth, or dexterity stealth checks, and disadvantage on wisdom perception checks. Now, when spotting the bearer. Oh, it makes you harder. Oh, that's for being insane. Did you say me, Hobo? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> yes. <laughs> okay, give it to him. Remember, you have to tune it. So we went full circle now? Uh, yeah. This part, yes. We still have the corridor behind us, though. Oh, no. The stairs up to the house. No. Oh. There's a hallway. Wasn't there a hallway? There's a, there's a secret door that we haven't opened. Off to our left. Saturday and Sunday, July 16th and 17 are the monthly giveaways for July. A $25 Steam gift card will be given away each day. You These have to be a follower of the channel and present to win. Check yeah, with Gimpy if that. you have any questions about the giveaway. I think we're done. Thanks for watching. This room appears to be a special holding cell for prisoners taken on raids of merchant caravans. Oh, this is the one we just walked into. Arcana Evo Malmis. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, we've been through there. Go downstairs. Oh. Yeah, this area over here where uh, Hurricane is. Kind of towards the middle. And the shape provide its own shadow? No. It has to be solid in order to provide a shadow. Does it? Yeah. Well, mostly solid. I don't think a shade technically has anything that 
cause a shadow because it's a sh shade itself or shadow itself, whatever. Darkness said you hear goblin voices, so there's the goblins that were mentioned in the thing in the they don't preparing. see me yet. I see them. Are you guys gonna shoot him? I don't have a shot where I am. Alright, I'm pulling back. Still I can't. guess from about here. Oh my god. Do you or do I have to move? Oh, you want us to race right in? Oh my goblins. So okay, we're I'm gonna charge in. Charge! See? I don't believe it! Not that many of them. <laughs> There's not that. You'll get us all killed! No. Should be able to one shot these guys. Yeah. Seven hit points max of these guys. Well, on the, at least at the basic goblins. Yeah, they're, they're like half a hit dice. Or no more, no more than a regular yeah. one hit dice. Because you do have to hit them. That's the trick. Oh, there's an unknown creature in there, though. The oh. unknowns are archers. Goblin and archers, yeah. Cutthroat, I think. Oh. Well, sadly, I don't have another sphere, so. I really thought I... Uh, never mind. Arcana, Honjo, Malmi. Got hit him. Could they hit you then just run away? Deal with it. Wouldn't it be funny if these goblins just killed us off? Yeah, that'd be hilarious. Yeah, highly embarrassing. I must do better. Dice rolls are going to kill us. Not the goblins, it could be the dice rolls. Wow. Ouch. Why is it too... Why are you too... Just hitting running. I've never actually seen them do that before, really. Really? Come on! That's what I'm saying. Come on. Okay, I think I got a rage. All Jeff has to do is hit him and he'll die. I mean, it's just, unless you rolled really, really poorly on, poorly on the damage. Any critical misses? Oh, 
You'll get a nice car. Oh, crap. You're kidding. I said they're getting the ropes. Ah. Oh, this is a tougher one. Cutthroat. This isn't good. I should have marked it. Arcana Divo Malmis. Oh, he threw a pebble at you, Jeff. Bastard. A pebble. Will kill us. Yep. That I could have taken an eye out. Yeah, I know with the pebble. It was such danger. Should have uh, tried him up for that. Evil cure eye. Thank you. Deal. Hey, for the dodge. BB guns, yes. Not those ones that'll take your eye out. The real BB guns. I mean, the dice are gonna kill us. It's that simple. Size dice. Possible, I guess. Size dice. You can take it. Mm -hmm. They're just goblins. Just run in there. Easy. It should be easy. Shake it off. Oh, he just shot me, you bastard. What the hell? Kill. Stunned them to death. And I'm full out of spells. If you have potions. Ah, oh, miss me. Oh. And he reached the 20 he needed. You've enjoyed <laughs> Of course he did. Jeff, I'll get that one in the corner. He's mostly dead. I'll take care of him. Okay. This hurricane's going to be a little help over there, I think. You lose. 
Goblins. Jeff is out of rage. Of. Let's see what this loaded dice is. It's magical. It'd be nice to have some loaded dice on our I side for a change. Evil. Oh, cast blast bless once per day. It doesn't need to be attuned. Who wants the lucky dice? Or the loaded dice? Where does it go? Oh, it's a necklace. Anybody want the lucky dice? Loaded dice? Sorry. It's not lucky dice, it's loaded dice. Necklace? That's momentarily my holy symbol to cast spells. Okay. Otherwise, I would take the dice. Maybe when we hit the merchant again, I get another focus. Okay, I'll hold them on me for now then. Gimpy, I throw some notes your way. Notes? More reading. Found it in some crate here. Writings of Wolfskin? Yes, that one. Yeah. A piece of stretched hide from the Goblin Leader has the following things written on it. Why orcs get all good loot? Why is we dying more? Tribe was 20, now 9. <laughs> Master is deceiving goblins. He only uses us as bait. Goblin's not as stupid as he is. Looks like he is. All set, right? Can't walk any further in there. Yeah, that's uh, I closed that's up. A it's just a little nook. Yeah. I think we're done. Yeah, looking at the map. Look at the map. I see nothing. It's like it's pretty much it for this right now. Yeah. Pick out the ladder upstairs we found. Oh, that's Maybe right. Fast the travel there. Outhouse Garrison. Outhouse Garrison. Cool hunting There's grounds. a fast travel to that spot. Ah, there it is. Off we go. And if we go upstairs and go camp and rest and sell. There's much loot lying around right here. Okay, I'm gonna pick up some crap chest. First, we never did we ever open this chest? Yes, I did. Oh, okay. Let's get out of that. 
No, loot. Oh, we can go back down. Lad leads up to an old drain grate just a short distance from the caravan. They have repaired their wagons are just picking up. Oh, shit. Have to move out. You see the familiar face of caravan master Brad Bradford. He motions to you, to you to approach. Uh, where have you been? We're almost ready to go. Did you take care of our little problem? Shit. Sorry. I thought that I didn't realize it's going to progress the story. I thought it was just going to put us outside. Make us run what around some more. Yeah, yeah it's only... In and in all honesty, it was only going to be probably maybe 50 gold total with all the crap that was laying on the ground. They don't pay you nearly pay enough for what, what you sell to them. True enough. Wait... Hey there, we've been waiting for you. We just finished the repairs and are about ready to go. Did you find anything out there? Yes, we found the bandit outpost to tell him the story. Let Hobo do all the talking. Interesting story, not, not that I care much. I'm just glad they won't ever touch my caravan again. You're as good as your word. I like that. Grumpy dwarf. Tell him a good story. Doesn't even appreciate it. But I suppose you will want to get the map, that map examined, uh, and we'll get to Grimhaven. The sage will probably be able to interpret it for you. I'm pretty sure there is one there. Go ahead and warm yourself up by the fire. I'd offer some coffee, but we already packed everything up, and we can leave as soon as you're ready. So meaning we only get to rest. We're so gonna sit, let us sell any. Hey, I didn't notice any merchants. This campfire. Yeah, just uh, guards. No merchants. Oh, no, it's, it's Brad. Okay, dressed up. Of course, we're just under level four. Don't forget to uh, tune the cloak. Right. Hey bag of water, stretch your legs. You have been sitting in one spot for far too long. Okay, so Einar Evo Skio. The light is with us. Evo, see you. Arcana Abio Lipe. I'm starting crafting a potion of greater healing. We have material for one. Pick your crafting options. All right, but I think we are out of stuff. Yeah, we can't do anything else. For, so you for started uh, the greater healing one? Yep. And I have two potions of healing to stand as if someone is missing potions. I have one standard one of healing, but I'm going to keep it. Yeah, I've got one too. I only have one potion.
And there we've been waiting for you. Ah, uh, shit. Appear to fast forward. I guess we're supposed to go to uh, the blue block. Okay, let's go. Hmm. Need more arrows. <laughs> Need more arrows. The long journey with the caravan has finally ended at the town of Grimhaven, your original destination. Your adventure at the moat house is still fresh on your mind as you disembark. What is this mysterious map you found and the references to this ominous sounding master you saw there? The experience left you with more questions than answers. Caravan master Bradford hands you your pay and releases you from service, though you don't need it anymore. Given the treasure you found in the moat house, he advises you to head to the inn of the happy tortoise if you need rooms and wave you goodbye. Next step will be to get some rest at the end and then find someone in town capable of interpreting this obscure map you found. You set off on your way. But it's the same town and inn that the uh, evil yep. started. Yep. It's the same, same general area. Oh, cool. Yep, I remember the merchants. Oh! Oh, hey. I'm stuck on a screen. What? Um, it's waiting for Gimpy. Um, I move. I see everybody else moving around. Well, it's not me. Okay. All I see is the writing. Okay. Hold still, now reload. Loading. And we have level up. Oh. Might have to do that again, but... Oh, you can double up. Okay, so merchants. You able to move now, Hobo? Yes. I got a bunch of arrows here. Yep. Want me to buy them, Hobo? I'll hand them over to you. I'm buying some of them. Say again? <clears throat> I'm buying, I'm, I'm selling that chain and I'm going to buy oh, okay. arrows. Okay. I need you to, to identify some arrows. For okay. Oh, 
for the weapons merchant is selling the primed great axe and a manual for a great axe of cuteness if our baron wants a two-handed axe. And um, can I? I think I can do weapon enchantments. Yes, I can. But there's no recipes yet. Uh, lucky dice were necklace, right? Yes. So I'm getting a holy symbol about buckle. There's ogre, a uh, gauntlet of ogre power. 1100. Oh, we meant this gets your strength up to 19. And Jeff, you're already at what, 20? Sorry, my what? Your strength is at 20? My strength is at 20. Okay, so gods of Worker Power, no, no use to Jeff. Six League Boots, plus one to speed, cards attunement, four, four, 440. Still a good luck. Do we have money? We currently have 2,700. Oh. So if it's like the other module, there's a problem with the crafting for the normal, normal arrows. So check out the crafter and get a manual for the cheapest special arrows. Basic poison arrow manual. No, we need arrow arrows, not the bolts. It will be like the other model, I guess. It's something usually if you when you create a character that has a basic ability to use the, the crafting kit, basic smithing kit, you already know the recipe for the standard arrows. Right. But it's not the case in these custom modules. So get some manual for some cheap arrows. Flaming arrow manual. There's no regular manuals. It's all for making special stuff. Yeah. Flaming arrows or basic poisoned arrows. With corrosive arrows. Those I are mean, good. Yeah, those corrosive arrows work. Flaming arrows doesn't work. Flash arrows. What do flash arrows do? Lightning do damage. Is it lightning damage? Okay. There's two flash bolts stuff. There's also well, there's basic poison arrow. Basic poison bolt. And open. Okay. Hello everyone. My name is Veronica and welcome to Gimpy's Twitch channel. If you are enjoying what you are watching, please click the follow button in the lower right corner of the video screen. That way you will be notified by Twitch when Gimpy goes live. You can also find Gimpy on YouTube where he posts previous episodes and highlights of the stream. Just scroll down under the video screen and click the YouTube button in the about section. Then click the subscribe oh, the, uh, button to follow. This merchant is selling a great X plus one. Thanks. It's quite cheap for 880. Oh, it is quite cheap. Great axe, now. Yep. Okay, so just got a new bunch of arrows there. And there's um there's healing potions on, on there too, but I don't know which ones already on the house. So we do what? Potion of healing, potion of greater healing. Potion of superior healing. Love our 100 for that. Healing remedy. What's the remedy? The smallest one, the little vial. Okay. So, you guys good with me buying the Great Axe plus one? Sure. 
want to see you use that. <laughs> Got some fools in half. I gladly take that uh, one-handed battle axe plus one from you. Oh, I uh, just just sold it to him. <laughs> <laughs> I just assumed no one else would use it. It should still be on the merchant. Yeah, but you gotta pay to get it back, though. That's the problem. Hey, down, we'll go back. No. Yeah, you do. Once you sell it, it's sold. Anyway, down, we'll go back every Thursday. Boss Sorry, fight. Tully. Did you hear that? Oh, we got the boss lots of money. You can just... That's right. Okay, my bad. I said Tully. Unlike Gimpy, I know the difference between Tubby and Tully. You mean she don't need anything else? Jeff is done. You got all the uh, manuals for arrows, check the ingredients you need, and uh, check the crafter was what he's selling so you can make some nice yeah. arrows. Yeah, you're down right now. Lava stones. And acid. Is what we need. There's 10 acid on the merchant, so I'll buy those. Yeah, it's just 869, so I could buy it yeah I just take that out of my pay <laughs> <laughs> oh new projectile parts what the hell I need any projectile parts though, how about? No. Oh, turn around. Gladly take the dice now. I have place. Let me, let me just stand next to me. So there's the dice. Okay, what else is in this town? Oh, Sage Wilkers we need to talk to. And a happy oh, we need to level up first, don't we? Yep, we could do that at the Happy Tortoise Inn. Did you see any prime sword, short swords? Um, not for sale. There might be a recipe for it, but... I have the recipe. But... Oh, yeah, so you just need the actual short sword and other stuff to get along with it. No, I don't think we picked any up yet. Uh, there's one at the weapons merchant, quite cheap for 33 coins. We're down to 463, by the way. I'm good so far. If we don't need any other manuals for interesting stuff. No, not really. We got our we got our healing potions. We got some arrow stuff. Just a matter of getting recipes or the like components. Ah, oh, short sword of cuteness. We got the recipe for that. Where are the short swords? I don't see them. I see dagger. Oh, weapon immersion and scroll right down. 
Ah, there we go. Of course, I just did start making arrows, so... Einar, Evo, Skio. Cleric's not supposed to be using axes. That goes against being a cleric, you know. I'm a dwarf. Axes are in my blood. Shish. Excuses. Not a real cleric. Did you find it, Ovo? Find... Yeah, I found yeah, okay, it. Yeah, okay, I did. Okay, so did after... Did you find a for cuteness? I take that. <laughs> we don't have the recipe for that yet. Now watch. The first, the first, uh, next area we go, we're gonna find an acute uh, short sword and find all these recipes we just bought. And of course. The great axe, you know, the plus whatever, the one that uh, Jeff bought. That's usually how it works. Yeah, like, oh, it's not gonna happen. The great sword was, was, was fine the last game. Oh, that the uh, the blight one. Yeah. Yeah, that was a nice one. Okay, Hoba, we're over at the inn, so we can go camp. Never hold back enough with items in RPGs, especially if you're old. <laughs> Where, Where are you? Oh, we're on the left side of the merchant area. Okay. I guess I could have just done that. I didn't realize that was that way. That's okay. Home sweet home. Um... We just camp in any room. Do we talk to the bartender? Resident. I guess the rooms cost Resident. something. Nope, it doesn't. Just go in. Oh! Hello, welcome to the Happy Tortoise. What can I do for you? Well, we'd like to uh, sleep here for free. Right now, we need a room for the night. We know where the sage can be found. He's over a couple of doors down. Are there any vacancies? Better be. That'll be one gold. It's up the stairs, first door where you see. Holy cow. That's one. kinda cheap. That's expensive. One gold for the night? Yeah, it's kinda ridiculous. Especially for ones related to the heroes that cleared out the Temple of Elemental Evil. Jeez. <laughs> well, we're not the same people though. So we're actually not those people. Well, I said related. Oh, well, that's questionable. Okay, let's camp. And we're up to level four next. Fifteen hours. Fifteen hours. Hey, I only have to level up one person this time. 
Level four wizard. So another second uh, level spell slot. Ooh, cantrip. Unlock class feature, ability score choice, or bonus feats. Bonus feats, please. Um, uncanny accuracy. Uh, that's right there. Oh, Dex is at 19. Flawless concentration. Yes. So now you're trying to maintain your concentration in most extreme conditions. If you sustain up to 10 points of damage, you don't need to roll a constitution saving throw to maintain concentration. That's pretty much a given for this. Okay, so another oh, cantrip. For bow users, I can recommend uncanny accuracy, not enough. You ignore half and three quarters cover. Oh, yeah, well, we're not quite to that point yet. I'd, I'd rather have the concentration. <laughs> so. Concentration as a spellcaster is slightly important. Yeah, what 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 the named guy using was what I couldn't remember was the follow up strike when you use the attack action with a two handed weapon you can use a bonus action to ah. make a fast melee attack follow up dealing one d four plus strange bonus. Two more spells and um, put that one. Bark skins concentration, son of a bitch. You think clerics have a lot of concentration spells? It's crazy. Magic weapon gets plus one weapon for up to one hour. Oh, I should do that one. Hmm. Ah. Okay, so happy Thursday, everyone. Green Mage. Ugh. So what'd you get, Jeff? Uh, ability score increase. I think that's about it. Okay. What ability score? 
I went for constitution and dexterity since my strength was already maxed out. Oh, you got two. I didn't realize you could get two points. Choices. Yeah, makes it fun, doesn't it? <laughs> Wait in. Two MRM thirties do wonders on catapult. Oh yeah. Do the, was it the C1 with two MRM 30s and what, a bunch of small lasers and jump jets? Or sorry, four small lasers, two SRM 30s, jump jets, and you can jump up in the air a little bit and have some fun doing that too. I don't know. MRMs, you can do a lot of damage, but it's all spread out all over the place. So it's a good support mech, I guess, but with MRMs, eh. Yeah, it's, I don't have much luck with MRMs myself. It's just that... Like There's a couple Jeff, of mechs yeah. that it works, but you're not going to get a lot of kills that way. Well, he's dropping 60, though. Yeah, even with 60. A little hot, though. When's a little warm. Yeah, it's manageable. Or assaults with it. Well, yeah, you can if you can get behind people's backs and that kind of stuff, you can do it. It's just that the damage is it's spread out. That's the only problem. And again, for me, it's mainly about it seems like hit registration is a big one there. And how many tubes the mech has? Yeah, but don't get me wrong, it is a good weapon. I think I have some quick draws and marauders with it, with those builds. So what are you waiting for? Hobo? What am I waiting for? Ooh. Oh? Danger to Grim Heaven? Good heavens, no. It's a peaceful town. No, it's not. Even boring at times. Mostly hitting people at less than 300. Well, yeah, that's... Yeah, if you can hit people at, within a certain range, yeah, it works. But again, for, for me, it always seems to be about hit registration with the MRMs. It's just stuff. I just don't have a lot of luck with it. I can be right in their face and it's like... Dump 60 MRMs to them. It's like, where'd the damage go? Yeah, if you're gonna do that, then SRMs are better. Yes. Yes. I but I prefer SRMs. 500 meter range with MRMs. Aren't your legs it's, getting stiff? It's okay. You haven't moved in quite a while. Stretch, damn it, you ignorant meatbag. Okay, Mr. Sage, you are right over there. I just run around the corner. This is faster. I just like using that feature because they, it's actually in the game and it's so needed in other games. Makes travels just, you know, not a pain in the ass. Hey, this building looks familiar. <laughs> And as crafter, merchant. 
So we want to talk to story guy or crafter. Let's talk the story first, and then we can do shopping. There is a journal in the bookcase about the runes of Ilthama. Oh. Did you? I left it in there. That's the spot. Take it. Where is it? Oh. No. In the book. What? Okay, I don't see a bookcase. It was right where Hurricane was clicking. I didn't see where it was clicking. I might have been zoomed in too much. I found the book. Do you want me to take it? Oh, I see. I've got to do all the reading, you know. Okay, it's the lost city of Ilthsamar. Oh, God. Paragraphs. Legend of stories written down in the remaining accounts of the city tell of an elven city that accepted humans in the early days of the rift. Humans brought their ways and culture to the city of Ilthsamar. Ilthsamar, unlike many other imperial cities at the time, was much more open to the new ways and new ideas. Thus, one of the few uh, early cities where humans settled and were welcome. This did not last as the enemy began, began massing at the rift in a battle that would eventually cause a great cataclysm reshaping the surface of Celasta. Accounts by the, the scholar uh, Democlastus, uh, found in the ruins of uh, Glavador, however, claim the city itself survived cataclysm intact uh, through the use of a special magic that we could block the city in time. This, of course, begs the question of what happened to the residents of the city and where it went as there are no accounts of others who turned up after the cataclysm. Whatever the truth may be, none have yet found the mysterious mythical lost city of Ilsamar, and no actual accounts of survivors from the time of the cataclysm and other ruins have been found other than the single document from Demo uh, Democlastus. It remains a mystery to this day that many have believed is but a myth. However, a stone tablet came into my possession with a series of symbols and rules up on it that make uh, mention of a stone of passage that can be decoded to find a secret way into the city of lost in time. Well, one would have to locate the stone of passage, I do believe I have decoded the runes from the clues left behind in ancient imperial works. Could this possibly be the lost city of Ilthsamar? Demetrius Wilkers. So, yeah, what we're about to talk to, I believe. Demetrius, hmm, I think uh, you have the wrong shop. The bar is down the street to the left. I'm sure that uh, will be more fitting for people of your caliber. This is a douchebag. No, that's not what we're... Oh. Uh, impotence problems? <laughs> Get to my assistant. I'll give you what you need. Ah, uh, this guy. No, that's not a neat... No, I'm just going to cut you off. I highly doubt there's anything here that would interest you, so off with you. Sage, not very sage-like. Uh, do you a favor and forget you said that. I feel like uh, Tammy has ended up. You're he asking needs for... a beating. <laughs> yeah. And maybe I should take this cryptic map somewhere else. Oh, is this where failed ac academians end up? Yeah, we're gonna smack. <laughs> Too bad it was not a voting voting thing, is it? Failed academics. Yeah, it is. Oh, give it a rest. I highly doubt a bumpkin sage like you could even understand the basics of the Hesterian theorem. 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 Uh, so drop the act. Dare. I was the dean of the archaeological relics of the Badlands, and you dared call me a failed academic? Well, you're in this town, so...
and yet you ended up here in some backwater town that just screams of success. See? I knew where that line was, uh, this conversation's going. He's livid with anger. Let's drop the pretense, shall we? We need a map examined and interpreted. I was told you could do it, assuming you're not too busy wasting my time. It's her thing. Takes the map and begins looking it over. Where did you get this? Your mom. Do we want to go that route? You tell him the story of your expedition to the moat house and the brigand leader, uh, Lareth. Do you know what this is? I recognize it. Symbols, the code of, along the side. Uh, these are from the stone of passage to the mythical lost city of Ilsamar in the Badlands. We thought it was, uh, we thought it to be a myth. I've written an entire book on this. If you truly are after the lost city, I'm willing to go so far as to finance the entire expedition. Wow. He got, he's changed his tune pretty quick, didn't he? Provided you take me along. Oh, God. Why would I ever consider that? Because this is what my entire life's work has been dedicated to, and I am the only one who knows how to get you there. So we bring him there and then feed him to the trolls? The dragon, hey. or whatever. Now that I've seen your map... Bait. Yeah, now that I've seen your map, I know where to begin looking, but I can't do it alone either. How much exactly are you going to finance... Are you going to finance for this? I have 10,000 gold I can use to hire a caravan crew, bearers, and even guides if necessary. But I don't need people of your caliber to handle the heavy lifting. It's dangerous out there in the Badlands. Oh, but I need people of your caliber to do heavy lifting. It's dangerous. And of course it's dangerous. It's the Badlands. Otherwise it'd be called the Good Lands or the Neutral Lands. Well, it could be ironic. Yeah, it could be. You can finance that much, huh? I suppose I can hardly say no to that. Just one thing, though. Stay out of our way. You tell him, Hurricane. You kick him in the kneecap. Sorry, ankle. You're too short to kick him in the kneecap. Excellent. You won't regret it. I begin preparations for hiring the Bradford caravan immediately. We can leave as soon as you are prepared. Hey, that's the caravan we already came here with. Oh, I read something interesting in the module description. The caravan is has a mechanic for getting stuff oh. in places. I, places. Oh, okay. I'm so excited. I finally get to see the lost city. Oh, by the way, you can take that copy of my book on the bookshelf for free. <laughs> if you back on a nil some more. What book? I don't know what book he's oh, talking what? about. Oh, great. More reading for Gimpy. Or is that book that you already got? That was the book I already read. Okay, new quest started. So, Stone of Passage. How much XP did we get for that? Zero? Pretty much. Find the passage to the city of Ilsamar. Wilkos believes it may be accessed through a monolith called the Stone of Passage. Okay, so. Got everything Saturday from the and Sunday, vendor, July right? 16th and 17th are the uh, monthly giveaways He's got for stuff July. we can make potions with. A $25 Steam gift card will be given away each day. You have to be a follower of the channel and present to win. Check with Gimpy if you have any questions about the giveaway. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching again on the giveaway this weekend. Uh, we're down to about 300 gold, so... I mean, I guess it's not that... You know, but if it's to make healing potions, why not? I'm you down to one. need Moonflower for the biggest yep, thing we can do? I grabbed a Moonflower. I can grab more, pair. but oh, we need two. I'll grab one more then. The moonflower per potion and lily of the badlands. We're missing some. Lily the bad. What do we need lily of the badlands for? The superior healing potion. 
Oh, I wasn't looking at the sphere yet. Okay. One magnesium, one lily of the badland, two moonflower. And we only have magnesium surplus. I don't see any lily of the badlands. So I buy another moonflower. I can okay. find in the badlands. Yeah, <laughs> hopefully. We find a couple of bushes along. Okay, so they just changed the map on us. They did. You purchased the caravan packing up goods again. This time they are busy packing up large amounts of food and supplies for an extended weeks long journey. Caravan Master Bradford beats you as you approach. Oh yeah, I got no food. I have 12 packs. We have a ranger too, remember, the good berries. As long as Hobo as long keeps as that memorized. Yes. Okay. Okay, I won't worry about food then. Okay, you want to talk to Bradford then? Okay. I'm, I'm done. Another partner. We got a contract already, and I hear that's all due to you and that little excursion you took to the mo moat house. It was a surprise to me, too. I didn't expect to come out to this either. Well, I won't look a gift horse in the mouth, but I heard you we're going to be going into the Badlands. Uh, it costs a lot of extra money to be paying off workers to go into there. But this workers fellow you talked to had some pretty deep pockets. I hear we can pull a lot of money out of that place too in artifacts and other treasures and I like the sound of that. Almost done packing up here, so we can leave as soon as you're ready. You may want to go hit up a Merchant Square and buy what you can and rest at the end before that, since you won't get a, that get to for a long while after this. Uh, there's a hint, maybe. But well, we're all rested up, aren't we? Yep. Yes. Okay. So. I mean, so far we have no extra money. Oh, that's right. There's some square thing we got to step on, or? Yep, it's over by Bradford. It's on the uh, southern end of town. Oh, okay, I see now. Okay, off we go.
Gavran Rock the shuddered as it slowly made its way through the wilderness and into the Badlands. After a week of searching and listening to Caravan Bradford's war stories for the twentieth time, Sage Wilker has finally made a breakthrough. Following a dried-up riverbed, the Sage finally found what he was looking for, the old dried-up remains of the uh, Telembar River uh, that flowed across these lands centuries ago. It's theory that the outskirts of the city were located near the fork on um, the former Telembar River was on the mark. Soon, Caravan saw signs of ruins in the distance. Boss fight. Tully, did you hear that? There is a boss fight starting. That's right. I said Tully. Unlike Gimpy, I know the difference between Tubby and Tully. Stone passage. Find a way to the stone passage. You blame me for what? What did I do this time, Gray? Welcome back, though. What did I do this time? Yeah, we definitely need more money. <laughs> yeah. And merchant has projectile parts if you need some. Yep, see those. I'll take five. Hope you can take the others if you want. We're stuck here. Are we stuck? Can I take four? There's nowhere to go. No. Not know the difference between Tully and Tubby. Oh, yeah, well, it happens. Oh, wait a minute. the blue square we just came in from? No, you can go this way. North our room. Or this the north. Okay. And poor little squirrel died to Delm and Jeff. Because it's so mean to the poor little squirrel. What part? It didn't say it was poor. It didn't say it was little. Well, it's a squirrel. It's a squirrel. The poor little squirrel. Look at the squirrel. He deserves to die. Follow Jeff. Oh, there's a tree to knock over. I haven't seen one of those in a while. Hmm, I'm gonna examine this little ruins area. You're just so angry. They knocked down everything. Chopping through the last of the brambles, the wilderness opens up uh, to an enormous ruin filled with uh, overgrown pillars and ruined buildings slowly being reclaimed by the forest around it. Something in the trees above flutters off. Uh-oh. I'm being watched. You're being watched. Aren't your legs getting stiff? You it's haven't moved in quite a while. Is. Stretch, damn it. You ignorant meat bag. Oh, there. Oh, check it out. I didn't even touch the door. Never mind. It opened on its own. Uh huh. 
Oh, shit. Oh, shit. It did. <laughs> I was so, getting ready to position myself to open the door, and it just opens on itself. Yeah, it's a lot of ghouls. At least we rolled good. A lot of ghouls. A lot, a lot of ghouls. And I can't fly. Um, Eight of them, to be exact. <laughs> Right there. Oh, magic weapons like now, nah, whatever. Perfect. About twenty two hit points. Yep, that's about right. I'm the bait currently, or Jeff and I are. They don't really care about dark light or bright lights. And they don't care for calm enemy. Yeah, that doesn't work on undead. It only works on people and animals. Actually, I'm not even sure it works on animals. I think it just works on people. So while Jeff and I block this door, you may. Uh, Take on those outside of this room. <laughs> Thanks.
More coming your way. Next shot. Let's cough. Mask disengaged. I also I could also... try to turn undead. Uh, against for against three, you don't. That's a waste, I think. You should be able to handle those three, no problem, between the two of you. Oh, your shield actually has a, the emblem of the god on it, looks like. That's what that does. Instead of being a blank shield, it actually has uh, stuff on it. That's what it does. Then I don't see it. I only see it in my inventory. No, I said moving the camera around and actually looking at your shield. It's, act it's not plain anymore, or is it? Is it just lighting? Well, uh, it's a new shield. I don't know oh, it's, it's so long. Oh. Maybe it doesn't have anything on it. It was just a lighting. Damn it. Ah, it is a lighting. Well struck. See, Jeff can like almost one shot these two guys. Ow. Well, you gotta deal with that. Oh, that's right, they paralyze, don't they? I think you don't make your saving throws. And they're gonna chew on me. Maybe. But keep missing. Seems something Vern would do. Oh, Vern's not stupid. Curse you. Basically, I'm trying to train a uh, Kobo. Train as in TR, no, as in the choo choo train. It won't work. You though, have them now. He's a good shot. Sure, welcome back. You'll die like the rest. Ow. Dodge right a hurricane. Try to try to push Jeff to the ground. Oh, it's not gonna work. Palpable. 
noble hit. You are floating hammer? Where's Thor? The dwarf is the one that thinks he's Thor. It's not my hammer. That's that's Veronica as well playing. The hammer belongs to the dwarf, Hurricane. She doesn't have any lightning though. Jinx you there. <laughs> oh, Jeff. Screen throws up on me again. No quarter given. Is it dead? Yep, all dead. Okay, well, again, my screen froze, so it's saving. So, I have to restart. Actually, it's six o'clock, so. Or just about six o'clock. So Veronica's gonna be telling me to take a break or end the stream anyway any second now or next couple of minutes. So I think what I'll just do is maybe just restart the game, see where we are exactly. And there it goes, it crashed. Okay, so okay, so restarting to second. Just make sure we're in a good spot. Synchronizing. Okay, I'm just gonna load the game up. Worry about that stuff. That's wrong. Okay, that's good enough. It should be after the fight is done. Of course, what's cool about this is <laughs> if, uh, Hurricane Hobo and Jeff weren't here. We could still continue on and you know, do stuff that way. Of course, all the stuff is messed up, but the fight's over. So, let's get this stuff fixed. Okay, so we are. Looks like about not quite a quarter of a mile. What about it? Not quite a quarter, little, eh, whatever. Not quite a quarter in. So, okay, so the shield doesn't have any markings on it. It was just the light, which kind of sucks. Did you even mark it? Yeah, you did. Too bad. 
Like I said, I thought, based on the light and stuff, it looked like there was a pattern or at least some different colors on the shield, which would have been nice. Yeah, that would be cool. Yeah. He's spinning all by himself? Wow, he spins back. Okay, I've never seen him do that before. Anyway, so, unfortunately, that's going to be it for today. And, well, we'll do go through all the stuff uh, next week. It's just, like I said, it's the stream's basically over. Okay, so, uh, this, that's today. And we will resume this next Thursday. So, thanks again, Jeff, Hobo, Hurricane, for joining me. That's uh, uh, been fun, uh, except for the technical stuff, which has been a little worse than normal today, but it happens, it's not a big deal. Uh, and again, it's, uh, it's been fun. So, so far, the, the story is... Uh, there's not much of a story right now. <laughs> we were escorting a caravan, and then we were uh, patrolling around the caravan to, to keep them safe or find out what the troublemakers were, and then led us into a, a ruins, a remote house ruin, and then we found some interesting documents in there that led us to uh, talk to a sage, and the sage is uh, eager to find a particular city that's been lost for who knows how long. And, uh, now we're helping with that, and... It should work out well, right? I'm sure it'll work out totally fine. That's right, you can actually pause the game. Okay, so, that's that. Um, yeah, okay, so. Stream schedule next few days. Tomorrow, Friday, playing some MechWarrior 5. Doing some, uh... Or MechWarrior 5 with viewers. So, if you have MechWarrior 5, and, uh, want to join me tomorrow, we're working through the second DLC storyline right now. Started that last week, which is the what the Kestrel Lancer stuff. Basically, when I, I think it's a two-year contract with them, which is going to be also fun, I'm sure. Um, but again, doing that tomorrow on MechWarrior Five. Saturday is uh, X4 with the Star Wars Interworlds mod. Sunday is Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous with Gimpy the Half Orc Demon Slayer Demon. Monday, don't know yet. Tuesday, probably more X4. Wednesday, don't know yet. Thursday, back here to Salasta with uh, Jeff Hobo Hurricane and uh, Master Ghost, possibly, depending who's available. So that's how that works. So Veronica's lagging the last couple of days, isn't she? And that's about right. She's going to say something here in just any second now. Fingers crossed. Uh, what else? Um, I don't know. That's it for today. Yep, yeah, that's it. Okay, so... Uh, tomorrow, stream starts at noon Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. GMT for some more MechWarrior 5. So thank you all very much for watching. I know you have many other viewing choices here on Twitch, and I really do appreciate it when you choose to spend your time with me. So thank you very much. Have a great evening, great day, wherever you happen to be. Stay safe, stay healthy, and thanks again, Hobo, Hurricane, and Jeff. That's it. See you guys tomorrow.